Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 19 of Terraria 1.3. Man, I, I realize how fast I'm... I just realized how fast I'm churning out the episodes. <laughs> oh man, 19 already. Anyway, the biggest part of the last episode was the violent worm scarf, so we downed the Eater of Worlds. It finally happened. It wasn't... Honestly, it wasn't that bad once I got the gear. And something I realized when I went back and I looked over the footage is I was... I, I was curious, like, why I was taking so much damage. It turns out that the head, like the front of the worm, when that hits you, that was doing like 107 damage. That that was doing twice what the like the Orby things, like the the bile or whatever it is that he was spitting out at me was doing. So that's a little ridiculous. And the, but that also gives me an idea. Let me just quick stack some things. That also gives me an idea in the sense that if his head is what's dealing the most amount of damage to me, I bet I could get away with farming him. If we grappled like this on the platform, and then when he jumped up at me, his head would go past me. It hit me once, but then his little segments would be what's hitting me. And those only do, like, 8 damage. We could probably kill him a whole lot quicker. I mean, it's worth at least maybe a try, but so that's just something I noticed. Uh, obviously, we used good old meteor armor to do that, and we got a bunch of shadow scales. So what this is going to enable me to do is make a choice. Uh, meteor armor is not as defensive as the uh, the shadow scale armor, but the shadow scale armor, shadow scale armor is for like melee meteors for for magic, obviously. And we we have a decision. We can make that full set. And it looks like we have a new yo-yo, which is the demonite bar. Cool. It only does 17 melee damage. I'm gonna pick it up. Now, I, look, hey, look, we can see the phase blades. <laughs> There's the phase blades I was talking about before. So I want to see something here. Didn't I get like the counterweight? Yellow throws a counterweight after hitting an enemy with a yo-yo. Do I have to have this equipped? Let me just throw the yo-yo. Okay, so let's see what happens if I get rid of like the violent orange guard. Oops. Come on. What's it do? Is it gonna throw like another one? I'm, I'm waiting. Uh, what? What? I, I I don't see it. Throws a counterweight after hitting. Oh, after hitting an enemy. Duh. All right, let's see what happens. Let me throw this at something. Uh, there's a bird in the house. That's not really an enemy that I can really keep hitting. Let me find a zombie. We're, we're probably going to be heading down and looking at that mine. Oh, not here, zombie. That minecart track thing that was down there. I wanted to take a look at that, and I also want to go to the jungle. That, that's pretty much what's up. Net. What's up? What is up next? So that is just like additional damage, I guess. I'm not sure what she's going on about. I guess that was from the zombie. So this seems to be a, a strangely okay weapon. Maybe not replacing my melee weapon. I, I wonder if we can get the effect by not having it equipped. Like if it's one of those things that you can have in your inventory. Hold on, I'm trying this. People keep telling me to use yo-yos. And there does seem to be quite a few different yo-yos. And I want to see like if, if this is all it's cracked up to be. Obviously the sword being better in groups. But this is kind of what groups are for because this penetrates. So there's got to be a zombie over here. This is usually where they all spawn because there's no sunflowers. No enemies nearby. <laughs> We're not going to find any enemies either way. We're just going to have to go in the cave and do it that way. When we go down in the cave, I want to bring a hunter potion because there's a certain few enemies down there that we're going to need to kill. I see a zombie. We're going to need to kill to get some items. The nymph, which has always been a rare enemy, uh, has a very unique drop now, and it's 100% in expert mode. It's only half in normal mode, so I need to keep that in mind. Okay, so look, the counterweight's not doing its thing because we don't have it equipped, but it doesn't truly seem necessary. I don't know. I mean, that that seems to be fun. That, that yo-yo is actually pretty good. I mean, yeah, because I don't have to get close to him. I will stick with the yo-yo for a little bit. We will see how that works out for me. I'm not going to use the counterweight. But I'm not interested in that. I'll put the Fallen Stars in here. Uh, I will keep this because we're going to be going down in lava soon. Close. We're going to get there like very soon. So I'm going to be careful. I'm going to keep that with me. Rotten Chunks I can put in here. Not really running on the room. That, uh, that whole make a new base thing is <laughs> coming up upon us. Where are my extra glow sticks? People were bitching at me because I was using Spelunker glow sticks on the surface. Guys, I, I throw them down mainly so viewers can see. I don't truly care like what glow stick I use. They're, they're pretty cheap anyway. 
doesn't look like I have any more. So, I mean, just know, I realize I'm using Spelunker glow sticks on the surface. It's fine. <laughs> it's only a few silver. Alright, so we're good there. Vile Thorn. We're not going to use Vile Thorn for where we're going. May as well bring Dynamite. Dynamite's fun. Uh, I don't need the bug net with me at the moment. So we'll go ahead and plop that, up, plop that in here. I will bring bombs in case we find something I can't mine. Which, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We're going to make ourselves a Demonite pick, which should be called the Nightmare Pick. You get close to... You open this chest. Alright, so... Oh, damn it! So the Nightmare Pick is going to be important because this lets me mine Obsidian, and we should be able to make it. Do I not have Demonite bars in here? Huh? Oh, that's weird. Do I have... Can I not use the Quick Craft thing? Okay, what... Oh, I don't have... Okay, duh. Yeah, well... I thought I had more Demonite bars. Well, we'll just spam a bunch of those. That takes care of that. So, here is what I was talking about. Nightmare Pickaxe. Able to mine Hellstone. That's also a key and important thing here for later. So it's better than the, the gold pick, obviously. The breaker is a hammer. Uh, no point in making that. And then there's Shadow Helmet, Greaves, and Scale Mail. How much is that going to require? 15, 25, 40, and 60. I don't even have the Demonite Ore. That's surprising. Demonite Ore is my... My, uh, <laughs> wow, that's weird. All right, so we're not going to worry about it because we're not going to wear that armor just yet. I will more than likely wear it when we go over to the jungle just because I think we're going to need more defense. But let's get on with our lives. Let's go mining. We're going to sell the gold pick. I said, sir, I said we're going to sell the gold pick. Sell the gold pick. Let's go ahead and put any gold we have in our inventory in our piggy bank. And if I pick this up, watch, watch this. If I pick this up, watch the stack here, the 93. It'll combine into a coin. You can craft a gold coin. I've always been lazy and I throw the gold on the ground and pick it up. So we're taking 24 copper. That's okay. Uh, bombs, definitely. Healing potions. We've got too many so I can put some of those away. I'm trying to make sure my inventory is rather empty for what we're about to do. I should be able to just quick stack. Where, where's my quick stack? There's quick stack. Why is the quick stack not working? Was there potions in here? Why are you not combining? Oh, that's because you're on my hotbar. See, you learn stuff. Alright, so we are good to go. Bombs, I will leave you here. We'll get dirt as we go. We should have a minecart equipped. Yeah, we do. So as much as I want to go over to the jungle right now, I still want to go see what this minecart thing's about. I said I was going to bring a hunter potion. You guys let me forget. How dare you. I'm pretty sure we have a hunter potion. I will bring both. I will bring two of those, because those will help. Anything else that might help me mining? Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> mining potion, that's fitting. Alright, that's fine. So, th let's go down here, and I want to ride that minecart. See, see what we got going on. I will probably hold this glow stick, because it'll show me loot. There's also an item, and this is what I was talking about with the nymph. The nymph, it's, what is it, like the metal detector or something she drops? It's used in, it's, you combine it with a bunch of stuff to make like the super awesome accessory, but the metal detector basically gives you the effect at least I think it was the metal detector. Gives you the effect of the Spelunker glow stick. So it's something I desire. And we're going to go down here. And this should be a whole lot easier. Because it's been a while since we've been down here. We also have upgraded armor. Not to mention the ruthless space gun. And we also got a ruthless yo-yo. Nice rolls. Is everything ruthless? Nope, just those two. Sure, I'll take some blink root. Yeah, I can't wait to start expanding the farm as well. Um, when we go down into hell, we'll be getting, oh, what is it, Fire Blossom? We'll be using those in our farms and everything. Yo-Yo's uh, Yo -Yo's pretty good. I, I like that. I like that the ability to be a little bit d distant from my enemies while still doing melee damage. So that lets you use melee gear, getting high defense, and then the melee attack bonuses from those gear sets. Traveling Merchant. Ah, oh, man, I probably ought to... Uh, it's a good idea to go to him, because if he has the accessory I need... Do I have a DPS meter? Yes, I do. I have a stopwatch. Darn. Ultra Bright Torch. That's pretty cool. I want to buy some. <laughs> so, the reason I just did what we just did was he has certain accessories that he but only he sells, and you can only get from him, that you need to make this item that I'm talking about later on in the game. So, when he spawns, you might as well check his inventory, even if it means you have to go back down to the cave... So that's what that was about. That's where I get whacked in the head with the yo-yo. <laughs> I have a feeling that the counterweights will be really good. And apparently there's a, there's a few of them. Oh, the skeleton merchants hold some too. 
I, I don't know if you can stack them. I, th I think you can craft something with the ball and put them all together. So the yo-yos could potentially get pretty sick later on. This is, this is all stuff I'll have to experience or experiment with later on. I love the dash. I got I gotta get used to it. I gotta use it more while we're caving. I can use it to like turn really fast. Like that. Like when I'm zigzagging. Like look at that. Look how much faster I'm going. Yeah, I need I need to get used to this. I need to get used to, I need to get the, the horseshoe before I do so I don't fly off the edge. That's something. <clears throat> Excuse me, some, that's something we still need to do. We need to we need to go find some floating islands. Oh, and apparently, since this is this is one point this is 1.3.0.4, the game patched what, the other day, and they did something to Medusa's the way she f petrifies you. I'm not sure if they said they nerfed it, but I think they changed the way her line of sight works, which makes more sense. I, I don't think that when you're, like, say I'm, I'm up here at the top right of my screen, and she's down here, and I'm, like, behind 12 walls, she, she, really, she really shouldn't be able to stun you. It doesn't really make much sense. I mean... If we're going by mythology here, she's got to look you in the damn eyes, so why not make it so you're looking at her? I don't know. I, I like the change. It makes sense. So, here we are. Now, forgive me, because I have never used a mine track. I, I didn't play that update. It, it was before 1.3. It was like 1.2.4, maybe? But it looks like I can just right-click on this, and it just takes me. So, let's let's see what happens. Can I just... Can I control I can control it. Oh, boy. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Alright, so I'll we'll hold the glow stick here, see what we've got going on. This ought to let me explore. I'm going to press B, because I should use my hunter potion. And if we see any new enemies... Oh, there's a statue here. Hold on. Now, does that keep my yo-yo? Or not my yo-yo. Why did I say yo-yo? My minecart should still be... So you, Okay, so you can just jump off the rails, and you'll still have your minecart. Alright. Remember, I'm, I'm learning this for the first time. So there appears to be a bunch of silver up here, which is good. There's also a bunch of gold. The only potions are pretty useful. And uh, there's, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff here. This is just a good way to get around. I mean, uh, in a cave, if you find one of these pre-built, it's a good way to find a bunch of free resources. Like, you don't have to mine your way into them. Just zigzag through the mine shaft while using a, uh, a glow stick. Sounds pretty cool. Look at this, I got stuck. You, you can go through the wall with the, the menacing shield. That's funny. Okay, so this doesn't work very well against worms. Makes sense. This will work just fine against them. Let's hit them. I'm not scared of you anymore, buddy. I do way more damage. That's a dead worm. Come here, skeleton. Slime can get you when you're underwater. And see, don't get used to this, because once you upgrade to demonite armor, if, if that's what you choose, you don't have that buff anymore. You you do have to watch your mana. And at that point, you'll end up using like mana potions and stuff. I would like to find the skeleton merchant once more. Buy some more glow sticks from him, and then see if he has some other accessories. Apparently, he also sells a pet that uh, it glows. So it's kind of like the... Oh, what was it? The ectoplasm? Was it, was it the ectoplasm? Oh, the will-o'-wisp that you could get in hard mode dungeon, where it follows you and keeps you lit up. So... There's a lot of stuff we need to do. That miner's potion is definitely kicking in, you can tell. I am going so much faster. Not to mention we have a better pick. Hey, Crawdad, do you want to give me that one yo-yo that I don't have? Oh, I can grapple onto these, that's cool. Nope, no yo-yo from him. Alright, so can I kind of just like right-click it and go on? I can. I wonder where ore that is. Ow! Okay, so we're at the end of our ropes here. And by ropes, I mean my cart track. So hoplites... Of course, they still hurt. They are pretty high level, to my understanding. There's a big fat slime over there. Okay, so we got silver ore up there. Oh, yes! This is such a good find. And I love this music. So I'm going to shut the hell up. <laughs> I love the music in this biome. But what was important is we've been needing these glowing mushrooms. And there's also been some changes to this biome, in my understanding. I think there are some new enemies. So, let's keep our eyes peeled. That sounds painful. Why can't I... What the, I just faced in the wall! You see that? What the fuck? <laughs> Terraria, I love you. That was weird. Alright, let's get this shit lit up for you guys. Ding, 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 ding. I, I love this music. 
I had, I had, uh, I think mushrooms in my wall one time on one of my bases, and then basically changed it to a mushroom biome. So this music was always playing. Oh, I loved it. All right, there is so much gold around here. I can, I can get used to this. There's also some resources below me I still need to go get, but uh, hold on. Let's get the silver and gold. I know we don't need to mine it for armor or anything like that, but it's got its uses for later. And get as many of these glowing mushrooms as I can. Because these are going to let me upgrade my healing potions. And that's huge. Because 50 heals when you have 340 HP and monsters are hitting you for 100. That don't cut it. Not at all. Alright, let's mine this shit. Go ahead and put some torches down. I have to keep using that grappling hook. Oh, that's silt. Oh, we need to find the extractinator. Oh man, there's so much silt here. Well, let's do this. It's gonna hurt, but now we should be fine to mine the rest of this. Yeah, if, if you don't know what the extractinator is, shame on you. No, I'm kidding. But uh, basically, it's going to let us take silt and something else. I don't remember. Silt, silt, and silt and slush. That's what it is. Slush you find in the the wintry biomes, the icy biomes. Silt and slush. It, it turns them. Okay, it doesn't turn them. It gives you a chance to get items out of them, so it recycles them, basically. It, like, sifts through them and finds stuff. You get a lot of ore from it. You get a lot of gems. There's a pet you can get from that as well. So it's very much worth your time to find an extractinator and then take all the silt and stuff that you've, you've obtained and then just burn through it, basically. Just kill these bats as I mine this stuff because we're going to want to eat for later. How many going mushrooms are we sitting on? Not as many as I would like. That's fine because these things become trees when they like they grow up like this, like big mush trees. So we're we'll chopping those down. And oh, we got the mushroom grass seeds. Good, so I can start making my own mushroom biome. They have always been annoyingly rare. Those seeds. It's always been my one problem with mushroom biomes. I could never get the seeds when I wanted. All right, so we killed the trees. We are terrible. And let's hold the glow stick. So there's something over here. Yeah, let's go see what it is. Let me put a torch down for you. Uh, I love the light these things emit. One of my favorite things to do before 1.2, because 1.2 made... I believe 1.2 did it. It made it so that the biome would change with mushroom grass. Basically, I would line my walls in my house with that blue glowing stuff you're seeing there. And my house would just have like a natural source of light, and it looked so cool. Unfortunately, it changes the biome, so you start getting like weird spawns, and it, you, you can deal with it. But if, if that's like not the theme that you were going for with your base, obviously that has an impact. Why can't I jump up here? Thank you. That was strange. Right, can I hit you with my yo-yo? Yo-yo yeah, got stuck on a wall. Yo-yo does not work up close. That is for sure. All right, so let's just see what's over here real fast. I'll hold the glow stick. There's something up top. So we've, 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 uh, we've rode the minecart, mine track. I wanted to show that off because I myself have never experienced it. Uh, ooh, a life crystal. Sweet. We need to capitalize on this. And maybe we'll go take a visit to Medusa, and I want to see her change mechanics. So we got ourselves a chest over here. That's going to be sweet. Give me that extractinator. Game, you know what I'm after. All you have to do is give me the extractinator. Watch, there's not even going to be a fucking... There's not even going to look like there's a chest in here. <laughs> so we got so unlucky we found one of these biomes with no chest. That's cool. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna mine this wood because I think, yeah, we are relatively low on it. We only have 50. Uh, see, traveling merchants. See, I'm glad I, I went up there and I saw what his inventory had because if we were to keep mining, we would have missed out on it. And uh, I'll take all these. Maybe, I can even take those platforms if I wanted to. Not interested in having doors with me right now. We already have a stack of wood, so that's what I'm taking. Why I'm taking the wood? Okay, so this is gonna be fun. Let's throw a glow stick down there. What do we got? A bunch of glowing things, but I don't see anything glowy that I'm after. I can't believe we just got one of these with no chest in it. Okay, I can believe it, but uh, I'm not happy. All right, we are in the icy biome. So, hey, yes, that is such a good find. Free him before he dies. Okay, so what we just found is huge. That's the Goblin Tinkerer shop. And Tinkerer's Workshop, we're buying right now. Rocket Boots, we're buying right now. Ruler, so you can buy the grappling hook from him as well. So the important thing about this guy is he sells the workstation, the workbench I just bought, 
and we can start combining our accessories now and getting multiple effects from different accessories in, in one equipment slot. It, it, not to mention rocket boots. So that's clutch. So glad we found this. Alright, I'm killing you. We're in the ice biome now, and that makes things a little bit more difficult. Oh, would you look at that? There's a chest down there. Well, that's strange. How'd that happen? It's almost like it's spawned, but then... Like, it was coded to spawn here, but there's nothing below it, so it spawned down there. I, I don't know if maybe that's how it worked or not, but that is interesting. Uh, let's just lower some ropes. I, I know we have a grappling hook, but just in case. Uh, let me kill this dude. Sunflower statue. I wonder if you have use now. That is that a trap there? Oh my god, there's a pressure plate there. Do I have any... Okay, let's pick up the pressure plate. What was that connected to? A boulder. Okay. That's another tip I'll give. If you hold again anything that uses red wire in your mining, this lets you see traps. So if you want to be a little bit cheesy, it's perfectly legit, but if that's, a, if that's what you want to do, do it. Archer potion, cool. I will loot all this. We'll pick up this chest. Kill that. Uh, get out of there so I don't drown. I have blank root home. I don't need another hook. Uh, silt will keep. Mud, we can get. Mud will get in the jungle. I'll get rid of. And let's, let's use a life crystal. Alright, so bunny, I'm not sure why there are bunnies down here. That seems very odd. That seems really odd. We're in the cave. We're finding bunnies. Okay. Give me that. Give me that cobweb. Yo yo, I don't know how well you're gonna do against this, but we'll do that. Anything up here? Potentially a bunch of gold? Potentially a bunch of nothing. Let's see what we got. It looks like it's lead. So it's a bunch of nothing. So you can see that the, the speed that we're mining, because the mining potion wore off. Yeah. Press B again. That's so much better. Hey look, there's a green bunny down there. Hey little guy. We'll get some lead ore for the coming potions that we'll be making. I I have a feeling that iron skin potions are going to be really important in expert mode. So far they've proved very, very useful. Alright, let's see what we've got over yonder. So there's a bunny, so he's in a cave of sorts. Do we want to keep going this way or do we want to go say hi to Medusa while we're down here? Let's just go say hi to her real fast. I mean, she's just right over here. We can ride the minecart down. So that's not an issue. I think it would be faster to do this with a miner's potion. I don't know. We're going to try it. Hey, look, a cave. Hey, look, a whole bunch of ore. Damn it, glow stick, go down there. Oh, that's gold. Worth it. Worth it. All right, we're getting the gold, and then we're going to go get on the mine tracks, and then hopefully kill Medusa. If I die, I'll be upset. Upset. Medusa's a bitch. I, I don't like Medusa at all. I don't like being stunned and then just killed. It's like nothing you can do. That's so annoying. Alright, so obviously worry about our oxygen. We're fine now. Crawl dads. Crawl dads and what? Slimes? Crawl dads, slimes, and bats galore. There appears to be a, a big cave down here. And we're gonna let all kinds of water go through. It's going to be glorious. There's a lot of enemies down here. This is why the hunter potion is useful. I mean, you can find caves like this very easily. Okay, what do we got? We're out of those fancy glow sticks, so let's move our regular glow sticks here. So this is a whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, it looks like a whole bunch of just stupid stuff. Nothing I need to worry about, right? Alright, get my yo-yo on. Kill you guys. Nope, alright, mine, mine track it is. You die, that. So hard to so hard to hit those little dudes. Alright, so let's mine this, because gold is good. Hop on the track. I said hop on the track, and we, now we go. We move forward. Move onward. Zip past all these dudes. I wonder if they can knock me off the mine track if they hit me. And you go so fast. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay, so Medusa. She is down. Yep, she's like right down here. Bad. Get out of here. Stop it! Stop it! I'm not even interested in you, Mr. Skeleton. You have nothing I desire at the moment. There's some demonite. And we do actually need demonite ore. <gasps> That's good! That's good! That's real good! So she, see how she shows up as an enemy? You can already start killing her. You know she's hostile. She has quite a bit of HP. So that is amazing! I can't believe we found this! Metal detector! Oh! That is so... I can't believe we were just talking about it. We got it. She's a very rare spawn. There's Medusa. Apparently she has a new sound effect as well. So let's listen. I, I want to see if she can stun me from here anymore. 
Ma'am, are you are you going to attempt this? Ma'am, as long as I'm on a platform. See how she just did she just glow? I think she is also supposed to glow. And she didn't screw me over that time. She, she's in a very precarious position. That's a funny thing to say about a lady, but well, go ahead and bomb your ass. Yeah, I'm trying to look away from you. You're gonna, st you're gonna st just stun me already, so that I, I know I can rush you. I'm so nervous about this. We have, we've had a bad experience with Medusa. We're not good with Medusa. All right, didn't you stun me? It's not gonna hurt me because I can't fall down there with you. Man, she didn't screw me over. I think they fixed that line of sight business. Nope, nope. Speak of the devil. Maybe it's because she's right underneath me that she's affecting me. Oh, look at that! We're stun locked. Ain't that wonderful? Okay, so we killed her. And just a grave marker, so we didn't. Oh, shit, another one. That's weird how common she is. Okay. Oh, that sucks. There's a bunch of these beetles here, and I would like to kill you because of the die you offer. Oh, the item that you dropped, which turns into die. What do we have up here? So we didn't check up here. And we're gonna have to head home here in a sec because the episode's gonna have to be over. As much as that pains me. Bye bye, all my torches. Damn it. That's fine. We'll make do. I wanted to kill you. Can I kill you? Thank you. A any traps up here? Huh? Huh? Nope. No, no red wire. No wired traps. Ooh, double night owl potion. Thank you, game. Crawl dads, snails, and another Medusa. So I'm not interested in Medusa right now. Not one bit. Let's actually head home. And ooh, look, fallen star. So, this is awesome. Displays the most valuable ore around you. So, up here it's going to show me what ore like, it detects. It shows me what ore it detects. That's that's pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. She's attacking something, potentially. So let's quick stack all again. Oh, I love how quick that cleans up your inventory. Glowing mushrooms. That was a huge find. Put our silver ore down here. Mushroom grass seeds. Those are also pretty huge to find because this is going to let me, uh... This is going to let me make my biomes when need be. Come on, kill her again. Do, do your weird aura thingy. Do it. Do it! It's so slow to kill her, but it works. So, it's time, guys. It's time, time, time to wrap the episode up, but I won't let you off without seeing this. So, I should be able to make... Hey, look, Goblin Tech. There it is. So, Goblin Tech Metal Detector, plus the stopwatch, plus the DPS meter. So, all three of those accessories effects into one. Inventory, management, me likey. I can combine a bunch of other things. Uh, the Hermes boots with the rocket boots should be a combination. However, I think they may have also added some recipes. So real quick, let me show you, Jeff, Hermes boots. Okay, so no, but what, what about rocket, rocket boots? Okay, so there's different boots. Yeah, I know about this. You can combine rocket boots with either of them. So what we're going to do is give ourselves a new item, a new, a really useful item, Spectre boots. So. Just like it says, the, the user can, or the wearer can run super fast and allows flight. So it's the old Hermes boots, so I will show you. Plus this, which is huge, so it's really good for caving. So now we can do multiple jumps. And the best part is, at the end, you can hover and prevent fall damage. So we are finding all kinds of useful stuff this episode. It sets us up for the future, and I am very happy. But it's time to wrap the episode up. Every episode seems to fly by because Terraria is so damn fun. But uh, episode, I think, 19, guys. Thank you for watching. Jump the bunnies, and I'll see you next time.